I trust that you're doing well. Welcome to Miss Fountain channel, your go-to destination for insightful and engaging educational content. Here, we explore a range of topics from science and history to technology and beyond. Prepare to expand your knowledge and spark your curiosity with the carefully crafted videos. Subscribe now and join us on our journey of discovery. In today's session, we're going to look at stages of decomposition. And in this, it's important to note that uh, to a degree, the extent of decomposition can be used to estimate time of death. We have five stages of decomposition, namely fresh, bloated, active decay, post decay, dry or skeletal stages of decomposition. We're going to look at them one by one. I'm going to begin with the first one, which is the fresh stage. And it happens uh, one to two days after death. And in this, we find that uh, it begins almost instantly from the moment of death. The heart stops beating. Body cells are deprived of, of, of oxygen, pH changes occur, cells gradually lose their structural integrity and begin to break down, releasing uh, cellular enzymes that break down cells and tissues. This is autolysis. Uh, temperature falls to that of the ambient temperature. Also, internal bacteria within the gastrointestinal tract begin to digest the soft tissues of the organs. And in relation to forensic entomology, flies begin to arrive, like the blue fly that comes to lay eggs on the warm body. The second stage of decomposition is uh, the blotted stage, which occurs two to six days after death. In this, we have visible signs of decay. We find that uh, the inflation of the abdomen due to the buildup of various gases that are produced by the bacteria inside. And some of the gases that are produced, we have carbon dioxide, we have carbon monoxide, we have methane, we have sulfur dioxide, we have uh, hydrogen sulfide, among others. Vis uh, it's visible around the tongue and eyes as the buildup of gases causes them to protrude. Also, skin changes color, taking a marbled appearance, and this is due to the transformation of the hemoglobin in the blood into other pigments. Uh, blood bubbles may, may form at the nostrils as well as uh, other orifices or openings. And the order of putrefaction may be noticeable. Like now, here we have an image of the stages of decomposition. You can see the first one represents the fresh stage. Second one is uh, the bloated stage. You can clearly see the the skin the skin color changes. Also, you can see at the openings it's wet. The soil that is uh, around the openings is wet, and it's also bloated. You can see that. The third stage of uh, decay, or the third stage of decomposition is decay, times referred to as a uh, black putrefaction. And this occurs between 5 to 11 days after death. Find that uh, the inflated carcass now deflates and uh, putrid internal gases are released. Tissues are, all tissues break down and the corpse appear wet. At this point, the strong, there are strong odors which are noticeable. Fluids begin to drain from the corpse via any opening, maybe like the nose, the mouth. Internal organs typically decompose in a particular order, starting with the intestines and ending with the prostate and the uterus, and that is depending on the gender. Uh, in relation to forensic entomology, Bacteria and maggots break through the skin. Lava begin to pupate. It's also important to note that uh, in decay stage, the corpse is reduced to about 20% of its original mass. In our image, you can see the that, which is uh, the decay stage. You can see it appears wet. You can see that uh, it's not deflated, but the tissues are begin to break down. Yeah. 
the fourth stage is post decay which appear which occurs uh, 10 to 24 days after death decomposition slows as most of the flesh has been stripped off from the skeleton strong orders of decay begin to subside that is they begin to reduce the body may form a wax layer known as adipose uh, carcass is reduced to hair skin and bones it's important to note that uh, in relation to forensic entomology fly population fly population is reduced and uh, replaced by other arthropods like the beetles it is in that is the the fourth the fourth image you can see the all the characteristics that we mentioned you can see it's basically the skin bones the fur and the our final stage of decomposition is the dry stage of the skeletal stage which occurs uh, after 24 days after death and in this we find that uh, the remains mainly consist of a uh, bones dried skin and cartilage and in, in this stage there is no order of decay yeah that's an image showing the stages of decomposition you can see the five stages there based on their characteristics and it's important to note that uh, we have factors that affect decomposition and that include temperature being the first factor we find that uh, warmer temperatures accelerate the process of decomposition, whereas colder temperatures slows it, it down. If it's cold enough, that stops it altogether. We find that uh, decomposition is uh, fastest at between 70 to 99 degrees Faraday. Temperature will also affect insect succession, which would affect how quickly the body is broken down. The second factor that affects decomposition is age. You find that young people, animals, decompose faster than the elderly. We also have clothing, under which naked decompose faster than clothed. We have size of the body, overweight decomposes faster than average. And the last factor that affects decomposition is uh, environment. You find that uh, bodies decompose more quickly in air that is because it's oxygen it's rich in oxygen and it's more uh, decomposition is uh, slower in water or when buried that is because there when buried there is a uh, the oxygen is uh, less compared to the to the ones that are not buried yeah and that is basically the end of our session Thank you for joining us. We hope you've gained valuable insights and knowledge from today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content.